allegations today that the IRS targeting of conservative groups went well beyond what previously was thought. Earlier, we talked with the attorney representing 25 of those groups who says he has proof the practice continued right up until earlier this month. Letters with a stamp signature from Lois Lerner. So, you know, she kept on tra changing the criteria, which actually made the situation worse, not better. And I think it's, it's unfortunate and tragic that the organization, the Internal Revenue Service, is now institutionally incapable of uh, executing. Jay Seculo from last hour with Martha here. Learner's now on administrative leave. She gets pay. Syndicated columnist DeRoy Murdoch writing about that in National Review and quoting now, her paychecks are hush money. Learner's uninterrupted compensation conveniently reminds her that she can keep paying her bills as long as she is a good soldier and keeps her mouth shut. D. Roy Murdoch with me now, a columnist and a Fox News contributor. Good morning to you. Hi, Bill. How are you? Hush money. Strong words. Back it up. Well, look, uh, as long as she is at home, probably relaxing in bed right now, uh, not having to come to the office and work like the rest of us. Uh, she's making $177,000 a year, four times the average American salary, and that's a pretty nice deal. And she can keep that deal up, I think, as long as she keeps her mouth shut and doesn't tell us things like, uh, was she the only person uh, who got involved in this? How high up did it go in the Treasury Department? Did anybody in the White House know about this? Did the President have any knowledge of, of this uh, terrible and, and, and increasingly deteriorating situation? So I think, in a sense, this, uh, this money uh, Keeps her, helps her stay very quiet. You also write this, Lerner will keep receiving her annual salary, just mentioned this, of $177,000. Thus, Lerner makes more than quadruple the typical earner's pay, and now without even lifting a finger, as Yogi Berra might say, only in America. Only in America. You know, after this wonderful three-day weekend we had, people went back to work yesterday, and uh, yesterday was the first day of the rest of Lois Lerner's vacation, and she gets to stay home with pay, uh, not lift a finger, and uh, again, I, I think what she needs to do is come forward. First of all, uh, I think that uh, the law says that she's got to be paid uh, on administrative leave. So she has some legal protection. Correct, right? but nothing says that the Secretary of the Treasury can't call her up and say, look, you did a terrible job, you need to quit. And if that doesn't work, the White House Chief of Staff should call and say, you did a terrible job, you should quit. And if that doesn't work, the President of the United States should exercise some leadership and call her up and say, look, we just can't have you on the payroll. You need to go. Does she have, her attorneys obviously, does she pay them? That's a good question. Or I, somebody else? Well, I, I get the sense we pay. I believe that we do that. I should check that for certain, but I believe as somebody who's still on uh, on staff, who's still a federal employee, I imagine that she's still getting in, getting uh, uh, covered with uh, legal expenses. You rattled off a number of questions there, too, and it's in your column, too. Did the IRS higher-ups instruct Lerner to hammer the conservative groups? Uh, you're right about who else at Treasury knew about this. We don't know that at the moment. Uh, that's Treasury now. That's not IRS. Uh, did Lerner talk about this with anyone at the White House? What did the President know? When did he know it? Jay Secular from last hour was on with Martha, and he was talking about the 25 groups he now represents. And he has proof and he has paperwork that shows it went higher up. How high? Uh, well, higher up than her, uh, and there, I think at the minimum we know that certain people at uh, the Treasury and the, the Treasury Council knew about this. The White House Council knew about this and apparently, we're told, didn't tell the President of the United States for about two or three weeks. Uh, who knows if, if that's true or not. Uh, and uh, we also find out that this was not just something done by the Cincinnati office, by some rogue agents who are doing their own thing. We have at least 15 letters with Lois Lerner's uh, signature on them with very, very intrusive and inappropriate questions. I think the other thing is to understand how the IRS operates. The Cincinnati office handled all the tax-exempt filings. That's right. But for the whole country. That's right. So if you wanted to get your organization on this list and get tax protection and go forward, you had to go through Cincinnati. Is that through, right? You had to go through, through Cincinnati, but there were letters coming from El Monte, California, from, I think, uh, Laguna Niguel, if not mistaken, from Washington, D.C. So there, this, these were coming from multiple offices of the IRS, not just the Cincinnati office. All right. Lois Learn, in the meantime, has a summer off, and we'll see you next time when she goes public. Thanks, D. Nice non-work if you can get it. Right on. Only in America. Only in America. Thank you, Yogi. <laughs> D. Roy Murdoch. Good to Thank see you. you.